Hey everybody, Spidey Librarian here, and I know, I know, I'm a little late to the game, but I finally gotten to the point about a day later where I can watch the Marvel Studios What If trailer. It dropped yesterday, and I'm reacting to it now. If you are familiar with What If, What If actually was a line of comic books that Marvel did back in, I think, the, the 70s and the 80s. And it kind of arose from just, like, fans writing in and asking questions about things like, well, what if, you know, what if the Hulk had killed Wolverine? Or what if Spider-Man had never given up his cosmic powers? Or this or that. And so Marvel realized that they could make an entire line of comics based on these questions. And so they would put the questions to their authors and they would come up with some really imaginative storylines. And so Marvel Studios doing What If appears to be mostly based on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I've seen like one or two teasers for this. And I think, oh my God, like just from what I've, just from what little I've seen, this looks like it's going to be so much fun. So I'm really looking forward to finally being able to watch and react to this. So um, let's just go ahead and uh, get it ready. Yeah, peace. I love peace. I'd be out of a job with peace. Oh my god. That's not Tony's voice. That's not Robert Downey Jr. Oh. Oh, is that Killmonger? Do we know each other? Oh, wow. Time. Okay. Reality. Reality. Whoa, okay. It's changeable. Oh, cool. Where do you want to be? That's the question, isn't it? Every universe. Oh my god, this all looks amazing. Each one. Howard! Slow down a little bit. There's a few people in the room that don't understand. Not me, I, I get it. Okay, so that was Chris Hemsworth, I think. Peggy as Captain Britain? Carter. Shall I <laughs> Oh, Spidey's in it. Yes. But I do not, cannot, will not interfere. Is that the Watcher? Of course it's the Watcher. I guess I have to freestyle then. Oh my God. A ravager never flies solo. Oh. I said never flies solo. Uh, is that some kind of catchphrase? Chadwick. You had me worried for a second. Journey to face the unknown and ponder the question. God. Yes. Oh, August 11th. Oh, man, that looks wonderful. I, I absolutely cannot wait. First of all, wow. <laughs> like, that was just visually so dazzling. And, you know, I mean, we, we hopefully expect this kind of thing from Marvel by now. But, like, it really looks like they're going to do like the comic writers of old did. And they're going to take the what if uh, concept and then just springboard it for just all of these imaginative ideas, all these things that they, they want to do. And it looks great. And uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very dazzled by, by what I've just seen. Now, a couple of interesting questions that I have. For instance, there appears to be some inconsistency in the voice casting because, like, Pretty sure that was Haley Atwell being uh, Captain Carter. Pretty sure that was Chris Hemsworth as Thor. And I'm pretty sure that was Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger. But Tony Stark, that I don't think that was Robert Downey Jr. And um, who else? 
uh, there was someone else that I was like, that doesn't sound like the right voice actor. So, I mean, like, I get it. You know, maybe maybe Robert Downey Jr. has really just moved on from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I, I don't know. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm, God, so looking forward to this. Like, it, it, it just looks like it's going to be a great deal of fun. You know, I mean, these are just stories that they get to tell without any constraints. They don't have to... They don't have to stick to canon. Um, I'm actually really interested to see what Spider-Man stories they're going to tell. Is Tom Holland going to be in them? Is Andrew Garfield or or uh, Tobey Maguire? I mean, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know anything right now. Oh my god. Okay. So, yes, that was a very, very exciting trailer. So, um, I'm glad I finally get to see it. Um, again, this is me watching. I mean, this is my first time watching it. So I hope you enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please go ahead and thwip on the like button. It really helps me out. And uh, you can follow me on my socials where I am Spidey Librarian on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram, as well as here on YouTube. Hopefully I will be doing a lot more of these kinds of reactions in the near future. Um, we are still waiting for the Spider-Man trailer and uh, any other good comic book horror pop culture thing that comes out i'm probably going to react to it so uh until my next upload this is spidey librarian wishing you a good day bye